You're here to solve this star battle by Grant Fikes called Pyramid Scheme. Its name is going to come from these triangle-shaped regions, this small one, then a second, third, fourth, fifth that are medium size, and this very large pyramid at the top of 16 cells. So like many pyramid schemes, it's going to start small, so we're going to come through the smallest region, mark in the two stars that have to be far apart, and those actually complete this row. That subdivides this pyramid over here into the same shape, and uh, now quickly uh, fills it in. This is already a completed row. Again, we're forming the same shape, so this uh, scheme is just dominoing on itself. Same shape again, so we've got four regions very quickly filled in by going through this logic. Coming back maybe to the last of the middle-sized triangle regions, uh, there's an interesting set of deductions to work around this. One for sure is that we can only get one star at most in these three cells, so there's another star in one of these three, and that's going to be the last in this row. So we know for sure there's actually one star in these three cells. That means we can't put a star in this because that would eliminate all those spots. Moves a star over here. Another thing to note is actually now with the region above it, and this is a more traditional star battle logic. If you, if you, as soon as you learn it, you'll have a lot of uh, abilities to 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 do uh, logic in these puzzles. One is that there have to be two stars in this region. Let me just kind of mark them conceptually in like these spots. They're not exactly these spots, but there are two stars here. There's this star already in these first two columns of the grid. There's this star down here, and so there are four stars accounted for in these first two columns, which means that the star in this row has to be outside of the first two columns. That this star cutting into the grid means one of the regions has to have a star cutting out from it, or you wouldn't be able to get a valid count of stars in general. Another thing that means is actually after we had identified uh, early on that there was a star in one of these two cells, then we know there's only one more star in this first column in this top region. There's always a star here. And so these deductions work together to get us uh, something like this shape in the grid. And they also clear out now the second column from this other region. We've got one, two stars down below, and so we're going to need to get one, two stars in here, but there are no more places for stars in this column except in this region. So we got a star in one of these two cells. That puts a star in one of these two cells. We now, in the top pyramid, have one and two stars in the top two rows, so there's going to have to be a star in one of these three cells, and there's going to have to be a star in one of these three cells. So those are where the only stars in the top two rows go. And we can't take a middle position because that would eliminate all the options up and above, so there's going to be a star in one of those two, one of those two, and one will be up down or down up. We don't know which yet. But marking off these other spaces in this region now makes this third row have just two open cells. And when you have two open cells and two stars to place, they must be filled in. Similarly, this fourth row now has one open cell and uh, needs to take one more star. So we get these in the grid. The star I placed over here pushes this up and this down. Um, we've completed this column, so we'll mark that in. Uh, we have uh, some more to go. And if we look at this region down below, we've got a star in one of these cells. You also have to put a star here. That's going to force a star in this place for this region, which will finish out that column. Put a star in here. That cancels this cell. This has to come over. Cancels this cell. This moves up. And we finish the grid. So a good classic star battle by Grant Fikes. It has a good nucleation of the theme, as well as a solve through the smallest triangle into these larger triangles. Some region counting and in-out logic gave us how the left side of the grid worked, and then similar thinking got us the top of the grid. So really good way to pick up on star battle steps. It will work out in much harder puzzles than this. So I hope you learned some skills through this video, and we'll see you again soon.